Hey, what's going on guys? So I had the distinct honor to actually play with Jared Dude in his one-on-one -on -one series um, that he's been doing on his channel and it was just an awesome time to connect again with, with Jared Dude. I know I'd played with him in Iniquity and Tony Mo uh, in a previous video so it was just really cool to get back together with somebody that also does Titanfall 2 content on, on YouTube so it was a great pleasure to play with him. Uh, we did three matches just like he normally does so the, the three matches were the first match is going to be uh, Spitfire and we're shooting from the hip as well as the uh, AE-45, and we're going to be playing with Rapple as our ability. For the second match is going to be a Last Titan Standing, we played just with Scorch, and that was just about the most craziest thing, just having the blast, just trying to set each other on fire. And then the last match we played with the Pulse Ability, the SMR, the Charge Rifle, and Grenades. I hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff we talked about. We talked about a lot, and we had a good time, so hope you guys enjoy. Uh... What are your thoughts on the, uh, on the Monarch Titan? Uh, I mean, from the video that you posted, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, as long as it looks like um, the Atlas um, from Titanfall 1, um, I think that'll be pretty cool. I I loved the, what was it, the XO-16 um, was actually one of my favorite guns for the, the Titans, so I'm going to be happy that that's making a return. But, um, Same with me, it was... Was uh, kind of my second go-to right behind the quad rocket. Yeah, it was a big as well. Oh, the thermite thing. That thing was getting me. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm definitely interested to see like uh, frontier defense with with all the um, kind of like updates and and whatnot that they're wanting to do to it with like different perks and tiers and stuff like that to abilities. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it sounds like they have the leveling up system. Woo. Um, I, uh, hopefully we'll get that right for in July. Weren't they, uh, like, adding, like, a sword or something like that to the game? Yeah, yeah that was what was my pin uh, game code. Let's see. Um, but the executions or whatever that you, that you showed in your video, um, I, that's what I don't, I, I don't know what to think of them. I know that some of them might be, like, unpolished. Um, but at least for the Monarch, I thought were pretty cool, but I, I felt bad for the Ronin, um, you know, people that yeah, play Ronin, they were wanting, you know, something a little bit more epic, and it doesn't look like they're, I mean, I didn't think it looked bad, but to them, I know they want a little bit more. Kind of, they're kind of uninspired, a little lazy, so. Well, to tell you the truth, I even thought Tones was a little bit like that, but I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they're hands you to bits, but I mean, it seems like Ronin's kind of is about finished, even though it doesn't look good. But I, well, we'll have to see. I uh, I do think though that we're gonna see new Titan this month, potentially the executions as well for well, I guess the crimes. <laughs> this 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 gunfight is just about the goofiest thing. I know, I love it. I think that's why I loved the Rambo challenge just, a, just that much. Just You have no idea who's going to win, but it's just the goofiest thing just to try to see. I mean, compared to, like, the car and the, and the R97, it's just it's really funny. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I, th I think there's another challenge. It's kind of similar to the Rambo challenge in that a little more ridiculous, unlike just being, like, a loadout. I forget. I can't remember what it is, actually, off the top of my head, but... I saw your um your um Star Star Wars uh, challenge was pretty in depth. I'll give you that. That was yeah. that was pretty crazy to see, to see like um how much detail that person went into. That was like a four minute intro. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I remember you talking for a while. I was like, oh my goodness, a lot of detail. <laughs> I think I think challenges like that definitely make the game a lot more fun just because of oh ooh ooh I hear I hear that aren't here I'll switch to mine um I think the challenges definitely make the game a lot more fun um God what else was I gonna say see now I've forgotten I can't remember it's because you distracted me. <laughs> distracted myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't bunny hop. That's still 
one thing that's a, a thing that's in progress of not not being able to do and trying to learn. You uh, just play with the defaults. Uh, it's gonna hold a gunch. Play out. Oh yeah, I I I, I don't change anything. I'm, it's just pretty generic from opening the box and just playing. Oh my, woo! <laughs> Trying to burn me alive. Well, and that's the thing too. I know a lot of people want to see me bunny hop. It's just, I don't know, it's just not the, oh my god! Dev, you devil! <laughs> Go away. Oh god. Oh, why? <laughs> oh my god, how did I miss? No! <laughs> Melee! Yeah. You have betrayed me. <laughs> Yeah, I, always, I thought the stuff that you would do with, with everybody in these one-on-ones, I always thought they were really fun. I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the whole reason I started it was just to get more involved with the community, kind of bring us together, and of course the gameplay is a big part of it, but I mentioned it before, but I wanted to talk with the other creators, and that's been worked out pretty well. Inside. How's the, um, the podcast going? I that um... I thought that was a pretty big success for how many people showed up for it. Yeah, I thought it was too. Uh, that's so. There's like a way that's gonna be ah! the way that it works. Is that it's, uh, much more Jackson's podcast. So I've just kind of been waiting to feel back when he's planning to do the next one. I, I thought we were gonna do it weekly, but I, I'm not. The second episode hasn't happened yet, so you uh, hear again. But uh, yeah, he does absolutely well. Plan on doing doing a damn good job, pilot. Done nice up. I think, I think possibly this weekend. Anyways, yeah. I hope we can well, it was just, it, it was, it was definitely a nice thing to just kind of sit down. I mean, hell, I was, I was prepping stuff for dinner. It was just a nice thing to kind of listen to and kind of get everybody's perspective. I think, I think that's the, like the one thing that I enjoyed the most is like hearing, because I mean, like with such, I guess. It's a big community, but a small community, just with everybody that's kind of tight knit with everyone, and it's kind of cool to to hear what everybody's perspective is on the on the game. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, hopefully we'll be able to get in a bunch of the other the other YouTubers and streamers as well to give their perspectives in a little more detail. Well. You've been uh, practicing up this Rambo challenge. No, <laughs> it does seem like it. But, well, to tell you the truth, I love like the Spit. I love the Spitfire. The Spitfire is like one of my favorite guns. I have two thousand kills with it. But hey, you, you, <laughs> even your fire stars. Dude, yeah, when people throw those grenades, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm on the ground. <laughs> like, I'm too lazy to jump. <laughs> See you. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's uh, this whole series I'm doing with my wife playing has just been hysterical, and I'm actually happy that a, a lot of people are liking it. Just seeing a, a perspective from somebody that's like brand new to Titanfall and like getting into it, and it just making me happy. And I'm glad that she's at least having fun with it too. Oh god. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, kind of slacking on my catching up with the community's videos, but I'll, uh, I'll check out an episode of that for sure. Dude, you're fine, man. I, I I always know that you guys are always busy, and it's not a big deal to me. I know you, you, Tony Mo, and, and Nick. Would you guys all have a lot more stuff to 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 do with everything? So it's no big deal to me. Just doing this is enough for me. Makes me happy. You are. <laughs> Just strafing back and forth. This is the most, definitely the most ridiculous. <laughs> Good. Oh, well, I was going to ask, uh, well, you did mention, like, the couple games you're looking forward to, but. Uh, are there any other games you're looking at expanding uh, the videos you're making? Just 
Uh, well, uh, I think the the one thing I've been doing kind of right now is I've been letting like, um, I guess my Twitter like, when when it comes to you know doing streams and whatnot, I try to let everybody you know kind of decide what they want to see. So, uh, for tomorrow's stream, I put up you know, you know what does everybody want to see, you know besides Titanfall two because I you know I've been doing a couple of streams of that, you know what else what other games out there do you want to see? So, right now I just put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it looks like Battlefield One might be the winner for tomorrow. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to play whatever you know people want to see. I guess. Oh, dude, that was nice. I, that was that was a good Firestar. That was awesome. Was that? Yeah. Whoa, was that like? Yeah, you. Oh, yeah, you got me like right in the nuts. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. the The whole Call of Duty series, like, I would love to cover that game when it comes out. But I'm, I don't know the the Infinite Warfare and the and the Modern Warfare Remastered just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So I don't know. Oh, what have your thoughts been on just well, the last three titles in particular since they introduced well, three movements? <sighs> uh, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops Three. Yeah, I I feel like um, Black Ops Three. I mean, throughout the years of of you know keeping up with updates and and with with um, people's requests of what they want to see. I, I think they've done a very good job doing that. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, advanced warfare and, and infinite warfare, I just, I feel like this, they just kind of gave up and they just were like, yeah, you know what? We're just going to pitch this thing. If they don't bite it, big deal. We're still going to have a lot of sales for the game. So that's, that's the one thing that makes me upset is that you just kind of gave up, you know, you, but it seems at least with Treyarch, they're not giving up. They're, you know, still yeah. doing what they're doing. But I yeah I, I would say that oh uh, we're, yeah we're doing Scorch right yep um uh, I the, yeah with Treyarch I well I think they're definitely the most passionate but at the same time I did kind of feel like they're more looking forward to what their next big thing is going to be because obviously it's not going to be Black Ops Four right? oh yeah well hands down Treyarch is definitely my favorite developer and I'm actually super excited for the Zombies that's releasing on PS4. Well, uh, to, uh, what I think the funniest thing is, is that, you know, the people that perfected, you know, Modern Warfare and, and doing that game are the same people that I, I believe, you know, perfected the, you know, wall running and, and doing this, that and other, you know, when it comes to movement that, you know, Infinite Warfare wants to do. But I feel like, you know, the developers that made Modern, Modern Warfare, which, you know, made Titanfall 2, um, do a lot better job. And it's just kind of funny how that has just kind of stuck around that they've been the better, the better developed team, I guess. Yeah, well, what I say, yeah, with Infinite like, Warfare in particular, and even Black Ops 3, um, I mean, well, well with Titanfall, the entire games are built around a movement system, while all for those for the Call of Duty titles, they're just kind of more like add on, but uh, kind of like a little extra feature that. You, you really don't have to use it, like use the extra wall running and such. To well, I think the well the I one thing to like ball, but I to to me I think the whole the lag compensation thing was the one thing that rubbed me the wrong way, like that made me upset the most. Nice, um, yeah, just I don't know. To me, you know, you the way that I always thought about it is that you pay really good money to get you know a really good connection. And when they added that stuff, it's like, oh man, you know, what's the what's the point if, you know, I'm gonna be <laughs> getting beat by people that are just lagging across the map, and there's nothing I, I can do about it. I don't understand why they can't put money into dedicated servers when it's literally the number one best-selling game every year. You have a multi-billion-dollar company. Yeah. I mean, even with Infinite Warfare, like I, I think it was the worst performing Call of Duty in like a long time. It was still number one, and I just yeah. I, well, and to me, I think it's funny that they're. It seems like they're going to be going back to where um, Modern Warfare Remastered might be sold by itself, which I find just to be hysterical. That you know they were wanting to sell it as a, a game attached to uh, Infinite Warfare to boost the sales, but I guess it just didn't pan out at the, as much as they wanted. Oh well, see, dang it, you, you didn't grab a battery. Now I feel really bad that I grabbed one. You go grab one, I, so I don't feel bad. I was hoping to catch you off guard, but you went. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. Okay. 
And I got a battery anyway. See, now that you said that, I'm going to come get you. <laughs> but uh, for World War Two, yeah, uh, well, the Call of Duty World War Two, it is definitely, definitely up there for what I'm anticipating. I did mention a few titles, but I think I think my top three for what I'm looking forward to would be Destiny 2, number one, the Crash Bandicoot remasters, or well, maybe actually Red Dead Redemption is probably number three, but I'd say number four. Uh, I don't, with me and, and, and Destiny, I, I don't know, I just get concerned because I know how weird the game was in the beginning. Like, it, like it, it wasn't finished as much as it yeah. should have been. Well, well, for me, and uh, like the amount of well, when I played Destiny, I I did step uh, back actually fairly shortly after. Oh, that's gonna kill me! Oh no, no! <laughs> oh man, I was hoping to get the sneak, and I was like, oh, my fat body cannot move. <laughs> you have won this day. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with Destiny. There was, well, like, I, I would top on, uh, well, I, so I, I would play for, like, pretty hardcore for a few weeks, then I would take a break, kind of a similar duration, then I come back, and I just hope there's a lot more content, which by the sounds of it, there's going to be triple the amount as what Lungi has been saying in the original game at launch. So, if that's the case, then hopefully, uh, I mean, I just hope it doesn't get to the point where in the first game, where even with all this extra content, it was like, you know, at a certain point, you would get, uh, where all, all you really did was just loot or well, grind for weapons that looked a little different, but kind of performed the exact same. Uh, well, and I, I guess I, I kind of ran into, like, the fatigueness. I mean, it was the same thing with uh, The Division. You know, you grind, 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 and for what? I guess that's just kind of what I ran into. Which, which sucks, because, I mean, like, both of them were really great games. I had a lot of fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had fun with The Division. I had fun with Destiny. But I think it was just that grind, grind, grind. And for nothing, you know, in return is what just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Also, I sure hope the, the PvP, the Crucible, uh, is a lot, a lot more refined than myself and the day. Because uh, I've just gotten back into Destiny. I used to play on PlayStation, but uh, the collection was on sale on Xbox. Uh, like pretty for like 20 something dollars, but I decided to pick it up and I've been playing it more, but still, the thing is, VP is not, not that good, especially for people who made Halo. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I never I never got into like Halo 5. I know that was a really big game with a lot of people. I I'm running away. <laughs> I have no help. No! Oh, yes! Know. Yes! <laughs> Uh, it's like wall, please protect me. <laughs> I see you over there. I'm so I was so debating getting this battery. Oh, okay. I hear you. How are you getting out of your Titan? I, did, I, I thought I said we're not allowed to play with them. Wait, what? What? What happened? What are we doing? I thought, I thought I mentioned we're not allowed to. Oh, oh, there you go. Now you can't hear me, guys. Okay. Wait, are you trying? Are you trying to fool me? Where you at? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh god! No! I'm not gonna get too close to you. I know you have. <laughs> I see you all the way over there. Gonna get this win! Sacrifice! No! Piss! <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it. I barely. Oh, man. I get you. Get you, burn! No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was fun, though. And this, and this is why I play PvP. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Oh my goodness. Uh, have you played Iron LTS yet? Uh, oh, do they have that as the new game mode right now? Yeah, it, uh, it, it, well, it was up on PC like a couple hours before uh, the consoles, which it's like the first time that's happened, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw 
now that it's on the Xbox. But uh, no, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I play a little. I play a little bit, and it's. I still like. I've only played I think three matches, and uh, I it was fun, but I mean it's definitely interesting not having any batteries. But uh, yeah, I think I still yeah. need a little more play time, but I did enjoy, enjoy it. I mean, I I, I was never really a big. Um... LTS guy, but I loved Titan Brawl. Titan Brawl was awesome. I mean, hell, I, I mean, it was just like PvP, so I had a blast doing it. I mean, just with Titans. So, um, hopefully, out of, out of the game modes, hopefully that makes a return. Yeah, I, I would like to see maybe like a, a selectable, uh, well, in, in the mixtape that it just kind of cycles through all the featured game modes, even if they don't necessarily make them, uh, like all their separate. Uh, modes so that'd be fun because well i mean it seemed like with mark for death there's pretty there's a lot of mixed opinions on it i still love it it's it is my favorite game mode actually well i, I thought it would it's always be should be made but well, well with like it was kind of seemed like a lot of times whoever got their titan first our, yeah our team would be a bit of an advantage well i think um oh, what was i gonna say if if they made like some kind of like party playlist so you um you know you select this this list and you're going to get you know these three different types of game modes so yeah, i mean well, well, that's what i was trying to say yeah yeah okay i got you then you know uh, one thing i always thought would be cool is i know in what was it halo 5 where they had that um it was like different missions it was a multiplayer but you know you had different missions that you go after to, to get points and stuff like that i thought something like that would be really cool to to have in in titanfall i know it's it's similar to to bounty hunt but like maybe like just tougher titans and tougher enemies to where um, I don't know I, I I always I'm always a fan of you know having grunts and stuff like that on the battlefield. It just I feel like it makes you feel more immersed in um, the conflict. Yeah, I, at this point, Titanfall Two I prefer it over the original, but one of the biggest faults, or at least comparing the second game to the original. Is Definitely seems less atmosphere. Uh, I mean, the even. Ooh, I know. Are you holding? Yeah, I knew. I saw you holding a grenade. I was like, nope, not today. Oh man, yeah, that SMR is tearing me up. <laughs> I, I mean, the reason I picked it is well, I was the only granite gear that was unlocked, but I, I, I don't ever, don't ever use it. I know you're, you're fine, man. I'm having, a, I'm having a good time. You, uh, yeah. haven't played any Coliseum at all recently? Like, uh, I have actually, um... Oh, oh my god, whew, that almost killed me. Um, I, I have, um, and, um... I've actually enjoyed it with the, with the Mastiff, um, change and whatnot. Uh, just because, like, the, with the Mastiff getting that massive buff, I get. I mean, I, at least I think it's a massive buff. You see a lot more people yeah. using it. Um, it, I've had a blast it playing it. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I was not a fan of it at first, but... You get your your grenades away from me. <laughs> Actually, I thought I had a fire star for a second, too. Function, but... Yeah, I've... I, I like Coliseum more than like a lot of people do, but I, uh... I assume it's, uh, the, uh, the playlist, or, well, I guess the loadout is going to be updated. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just collided it. No, 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 no! That's a grenade! <laughs> Man, I've had that happen to me several times where people drop grenades as soon as they die and I get all... <laughs> I'm just like, no. Oh, oh. oh this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. Just pissing in the wind right now. <laughs> just... <laughs> no, dude. Don't you throw- Oh no, yeah, your gravity star and pulse thing. Oh my god, let me tell you what. Never seen so many people running two different abilities. <laughs> Get away from me, devil! <laughs> yes! Oh, nice. <laughs> I just- the only way that could have ended. Just panicked. Oh my god, yeah, no. Once I- Once that video came out, yeah. Literally nothing- <laughs> I saw nothing but- Pulse Blade and Gravity Stars. It was just crazy. 
But I like it that they did that. I liked it where you could earn an execution by doing... I mean, like, who would have thought, you know, that, you know, they were counting how many, um, you know, pulse blade, you know, kills you, uh, you got, since it's not, like, in the controlled stats. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> damn it. And I'm, I'm sure it opened up some people to actually even using pulse blade after they unlocked the 10 and just giving... Some, oh, yeah. Giving an ability chance they never did before. I mean, that... That sucked playing as cloaked because <laughs> there's right, 17 yeah. pulse blades and it's like, well, I'm not hidden. Get that, get that frag grenade away! <laughs> damn it! It's like I hear it and I'm just like, damn it. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Oh, for for DLC, uh, is there anything in particular you like to see that hasn't already been announced? Because I mean, we have we have Relic War Games Titan. Things. Trying to think. Uh, you know what? I, I really wish they would um, add back in a, a campaign multiplayer. I was a huge fan of of that. So I'm kind of sad that it kind of went away. Um, or like it was never thought of, or I don't know. I know a lot of people wanted a single player campaign, but yeah, that was well, just like the one thing I wish would come back. If you remember, I mentioned that on, on the podcast that we did, and yeah, I totally agree. At the same time, I, I would like to see a proper, like Titanfall Ball 3, see a proper campaign, but then also something, yeah, like a multiplayer campaign that expands upon story. <laughs> you little grenader. <laughs> it's like all this map has turned into, I'm just getting my booty handed to me. Uh, you get down here, devil. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta go for a kill. Charge rifle. Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm down with that. I, I will make my comeback. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it. Just oh, one one thing we've been doing is um, Thunderbolt. <laughs> Th right. Shooting Thunderbolts at each other uh, in my private matches, and that's actually been turning into a lot of fun. Oh, nice! Yeah. Thank you. Just <laughs> have like 12 people and <laughs> just thunderbolts just going left and right. Uh, oh, goodness. Are you live streaming? Uh, uh, I try to do it every every day that I have off. Um, since my kind of schedule is just kind of like all over the place. It doesn't allow me to to stream just because I mean I might you know, I work twenty four hour shifts so it just kind of sucks but um, anytime I have off any anytime I have my four day weekend I try to get a stream in the best I can. No, I hear it! I hear it! Damn it! <laughs> I can't get away. Oh man, it's, it's terrible. I can hear it. I just hear this. Dee -dee -dee. I'm like no. <laughs> I see you. Come here. Oh, oh. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm not you. No, I just... Well, I was push. Ask, uh, how, how is it doing 24-hour shifts? Oh, they're not, it's not bad. Um, it, I mean, you get, you, you can sleep, you know, when you get off work, so it's not, it's not bad. But, I mean, just... I, I love it a lot more than uh, what I was doing in the army, just because I mean every day is new. Every day you get a new thing to do. You know, all the calls are different. You know, people's situations are always you know different. I mean, one day, you know, somebody you know, <laughs> a call came in that somebody chopped their finger off, um, and by the time we get there, you know, it, the guy like maybe like cut halfway through his finger, so. You know, you have this perception of, you know, something happening to this person that's not exactly, you know, what happened. Um, a lot of, a lot of, I mean, a majority of firefighters' calls are uh, medical. I mean, so we run a lot of, um, you know, uh, nursing home calls and whatnot. But, it, I mean, I, I love it. I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's definitely one amazing thing to be there you know when somebody needs you the most so I mean 
I think one thing I, I talked about in a video, uh, when I was in Afghanistan, my dad had passed away. And my mom always told me the story of, you know, EMTs were there trying to, um, you know, revive them. And, and, oh, did you, oh, you killed yourself. I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, and so I had a call of, you know, somebody went into cardiac arrest and I was there doing um, CPR. And just my whole dad's circumstance of, you know, what he went through and what I was going through on that call of doing, you know, CPR on this guy. It just kind of, it felt for real for me. So, um, just kind of a little bit of closure for for me, which was was great. And the only bad thing is I never found out whatever happened to that person. That's just that's the one thing I wish I knew. Never found out. Damn it! I had one cooking. And you got me. Oh my goodness. I, I you know what I I, I want to recount. This is this is not this is not fair. Might have been a bit of a visual glitch. <laughs> No, I'm gonna get an execution. It's gonna happen. Come here. Hey. Do this no! Oh. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, piss! <laughs> get over it now! Oh man. <laughs> that I, I have to say, out of the three matches, that is that is that was fun. I liked it. Even if I lost, I had a, I had a blast. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to do his one-on-one -on -one series with him. So, Jared, dude, thank you for giving me the, the time to, to do it. And uh, and I, just, I had a blast. I had a blast playing with you, and I, hopefully we get to do this again. Um, I need a rematch. You beat me. You beat me this time. Hopefully I'll, I'll get you next time. I can't beat your grenades, man. Your grenades are deadly. I, I got I to gotta work on my grenade tosses. But I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just a lot of fun to talk about the, the so many ideas that we have for the future of the series. Uh, and what we want to see, uh, you know, expansions on to this game. So, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I will see you next time.